that thing, remember the spring? Mm -hmm. And here's, here's the subject. Here's one of you guys, okay? And here's the camera, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so before, we were just reading the sunlight, right? So we said, let's say, f5.6, right? Mm -hmm. yes. And we're gonna shoot at, let's say, 125, right? Everyone mm -hmm. understands that? Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so at 5.6, we've got short depth of field, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say the client says, no, I want it more crisper, I want to see it more clean. We're gonna use a flash mm -hmm. with the sun, right? Yeah. So we're gonna get the flash, we're gonna bring it outside, we're gonna put it behind the camera. So now we have the flash, okay, as well. But here's where we gotta start thinking. We need to make this light stronger than this light. Bring the light closer. No, bring we need to increase down. this light over the sun. So if the sun is giving us 5.6. Bring it down. The sun is 5.6, right? Yeah. We want the flash to be one stop over. So we want the flash to be 8.0. Okay. Get it? Mm -hmm. So if we read the flash at 8.0, we are gonna be, and this is what photographers say all the time, we're gonna be one stop over the sun. Mm -hmm. You understand? You can also go one stop under the sun and make it darker, right? It's yeah. a different effect. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna set that up, and we're gonna shoot, you're all gonna take turns, and we're gonna shoot one stop over whatever the sun is giving us as a reading, okay? Yeah. And then you guys have pretty much got a bunch of whole lighting techniques that you know, okay? I like taking my pictures. So let's that. do that. Let's go out. Let's after we finish printing, let's go out and do a little bit of a little bit of flashing sun outside. Make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, guys.